Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you the easiest and fastest way in which you can import contacts into MailChimp. So there's a few reasons why you might want to import contacts into MailChimp. The most common reasons being to build an email list, to segment contacts, to track results, to automate tasks and to create landing pages. So if you're looking for a way to do all those things, importing contacts into MailChimp is a great option. So how do we actually import our contacts? So I'd suggest to click on this audience tab here and then go down to all contacts. And here you'll see all the contacts that you actually have, but assuming that you haven't actually imported any yet, you want to go on add contacts, which is here. And then the second option down is import contacts. So we go ahead and click on that. And then it asks us how we would like to add contacts. So there's three different ways on how to do it. The first way is to import from another service. So you can actually import these from a place where you've already got contacts such as Zapier, Salesforce, WooCommerce, QuickBooks, Squarespace and Shopify. So if you've already got some contacts in there, I'd suggest to just connect it to your MailChimp account and then you can just keep all your contacts in sync. And then you can just keep all your contacts in sync nice and easily. Now you can also copy and paste if that's easier. So you can directly paste in new contacts from a spreadsheet or a similar list, or you also have the option to upload a file, which is what I'm going to do. So you can import contacts from a CSV or a TXT file. So I'm going to go ahead and click that and then select continue. And here's where you actually want to upload the file if you did choose this option. So as you can see, I've just made a dummy list here of some fake emails and fake names just for the purpose of the tutorial. You'll want to do something similar, keep it organized like this so you know which is which and also just have in all their details. And then what you want to do is click on file and then you want to go down to download and then you just want to export it as a CSV, this one, comma separated values. So do that and then we can head back into here and we can browse and select that CSV that we just exported. So this is the CSV I just exported. So, so when you are ready, we can click continue to organize. And now here's where we can actually organize our contacts. So we can select a status. So we can choose either subscribed, unsubscribed, non-subscribed or cleaned. Now, if you click on each of these, it does say the difference about them. So subscribed means that you've gained permission to market to them. Unsubscribed and non-subscribed are pretty much the same. It means you can receive ads, postcards and transactional emails like order notifications, but they will not be able to receive marketing emails. And then also there's cleaned, which means they cannot receive any type of marketing and they do not count towards your monthly plan limit, which is good. So choose whichever one you want. And then you also want to select this one, update any existing contacts. So if any imported contacts are already in your audience, we automatically replace their information with the data from your import. This option may make the import process take longer. So do take that into account if you're going to choose this option. And since I'm importing and since I'm importing contacts I already have in my list, I am going to tick this option and then we're going to continue to tag. Now tags is how we can organize our contacts using simple words or phrases. And this is so they make the most sense to us. So, so if all these people I was adding were influencers, for example, I can click this tag here. And as you see, it gets added. Now I can also add more by typing it in here or just picking any of these. And then when you're happy, we can select continue to match. And here's where we can just match our column labels to the contact information. So we just want to make sure this is all correct. So we want to make sure that the email addresses are here, first name here, last name here, etc. Just make sure it makes sense on the uh, form. And then when you are ready, we can click finalize import. Here it will just give us a review. And when we are ready, we can complete our import by clicking this button here. And then as you can see, it says my import was successful. So since I chose to update, it has updated those three contacts in my audience. So in order to see those and make sure it has been added right, we can just select view contacts here. Then as you can see, here's all those contacts that I just added. It is important to note that you should only import contacts into MailChimp if you have their permission. Importing contacts without their permission is actually a violation of the MailChimp's terms of service and can actually result in your account being suspended or terminated. So if you're unsure whether or not you should import contacts into MailChimp, you should contact MailChimp support for some guidance. 
But other than that, that is exactly how you can import your contacts into MailChimp. They do make it nice and easy and give you a few different ways to import your contacts. So if you already have your contacts on a different platform such as Zapier, it will be a lot easier in order to add them because you can just connect it straight away and you can just add them. So I hope you found this video helpful and I hope you successfully managed to import your contacts into MailChimp. If you did, please comment down below to say that this video helped you out and like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching.